pray that you take absolute control Thank of you, Jesus. Jesus. Father, this word, oh God, and the King of glory, you are the writer of the word. Father, Lord, minister it into the heart of men, Lord Jehovah. Minister it into the heart of men, my Lord and my God, so that your name will be glorified in our life, in our family, in the name of Jesus Thank Christ. You, Father. Father, we bless you. We adore you, Lord. It is like unto thee. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. You are higher than the highest, greater than the greatest. Blessed be unto your holy name. God bless you. Today is our Bible study. Children of God, today is our Bible study. Join us as we study the word of God today to know things about God Almighty, to know about His word, to know the things that are inside the Bible that we are carrying. Praise the Lord. Father, we bless you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Join us as we worship God tonight before we go into today's Bible study. Amen. Oh, 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 oh,
whatsoever, Lord, that case may be. Yes. Oh God, someone by the option of this message, Lord, as the message is going on, as the message is going on, Amen. Father Lord, let there be manifestation of Jesus. your power, let there be manifestation of your glory. The Bible says, as Peter was here speaking, hey. the Holy Ghost fell upon the family of Colinos. Yes, son, there's something, a trust man in what it comes into the great day and the news day to you, Lord Jesus. Lord, as yes, I Lord. begin to minister by the option of the Holy Ghost, I pray that let them be deliverance. Let them be freedom. Freedom. Let them be freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Receive all the glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You are amen. all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Thank Christ. You, Jesus. you are all welcome. Brothers and sisters, you are all welcome. To this service today. Today is our Bible study by the grace of God. Tuesday and uh, tomorrow on Friday is our prayers. We are going to be taking prayers on Friday now because of time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are going to be taking prayers on Friday. Today yes. is just Bible study. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So follow as we go on the Holy Spirit. Teach us today. God bless you. You are welcome. God bless you and strengthen your heart all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Today, our topic today is, a, is spiritual growth is necessary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Spiritual growth is necessary. In this kingdom that we are, mm. spiritual growth is necessary. For as a child of God, it is very necessary to grow in the spirit. It is something that we need to put our effort it's something that we need to work towards. It's something that we need to put in consciousness. Our spirit life, our spiritual life, our relationship with God. It is very necessary for us to grow. Because just like as a baby, when you give birth to a child, you expect, you expect that child to grow. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You expect the child to grow from a baby and it begins from, from the womb he formed. From that you gave birth to the child and before you know a year two years the baby will begin to grow before you go to an adult so spiritual growth it matters to you and i oh, yes. as children of god it is very necessary as children of god in our life god almighty want us to understand mm -hmm. that it is something that you and i as children of god need to take in conscious to break in your mind in remembrance every time to work hard to that goal, which the Lord, to that calling, the Lord has called us. Oh, yes. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So spiritual growth is necessary. That is the topic of today. Spiritual growth is necessary. Praise Master Jesus Christ. I'm, I, I'm taking my test. Let's take our test from the book of First Corinthians chapter 3. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 3. I read from verse 1 to 3. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And I, brethren, could not speak to you as the spiritual people, as to spiritual people, but as to Cana, as to babies in Christ. There are babies in Christ. When you come to Christ, you and I come to Christ. We are baby in Christ. We came Cana. We come to Christ canon as we are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We come to Christ canon because we were canon before we came to Christ, before Jesus Christ bought us with his pride, with his blood, and paid that price on the cross. Before you and I come to Christ, we were canon. Apostle Paul said, when I speak to you, he was talking to the church in Corinth. He said, I speak to you as baby in Christ. As you have come to Christ, you are a baby before the Lord. You are a baby in Christ. You have not grown to that uh, um, knowledge, full knowledge of God. You just come into, just like as a child, come into the world and when he begin to grow, he, he acquire knowledge, to, uh, uh, knowledge of the things that are happening around the world. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. That is how Christian, when you come into Christ, when you get born again, we co come in like a kind of people, just as we are in the world. We we come in with every baggages that we have 
that have not left us, uh, we come in because we were not satisfied before Christ died for us. Uh, the Bible says, when we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. When we were yet sinners, Romans chapter 5, verse 8, when we were yet sinners, be part of it. If you read, uh, be part of it. So when we were yet sinners, Christ died. So it's not because we were righteous that Christ died for us. We were carnal and Christ died for you and I. So we, we are baby as we come in, the word of God was preached to you and I. We were so we were so babies that we are so young yes. in Christ. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul said, when you come in and I, I speak to you people, in that he was talking to the, the church in Corinth as he's talking to us today, because the Bible says what he says to one, he says to all, praise Master Jesus. He said, I speak to you not as a spiritual people, not as a standard men or women, not as spiritual men, spiritual being, but I speak to you so that you can understand the basic things in this kingdom. Praise the Lord. There are babies that when children of when they, they, they come into Christ, there are basic words that a child of God hears, which is repentance, which is repentance. T telling the children of God that is the basic word, the, the repentance, teaching them the way, the new life of God, teaching them the, the new uh, place, now the new uh, step they have took, then the new kingdom they have entered into. Then you be, we begin to, to 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 know the things that are involved in that kingdom. Praise Master Jesus. Apostle Paul said, I talk to you as a Ghanaian. I, I bring the word to you in the in the basis. That you may be able to understand. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, I speak to you like babies in Christ. That is young people in Christ. We that we are carnal and we came to Christ just as we are. We came to Christ with our actions, with our ways, with everything that we were having in Christ before Jesus Christ died for us. Now we have come. We need to learn a new life, a new things, new things about where. We have been called into praise the Lord. Apostle Paul was telling the people, "Thank you, Jesus, that I speak to you as babies, not as my church Christian, not as spiritual people." Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Verse two says, "I fed you with milk, and not with solid food, for until now you were not able to receive it, and even not you are still not able, even now." They are still not able to receive it. He said, I speak with, like a baby, I fed you. That is the word that he said, I fed you with milk. He fed them with milk. Meaning that he, he speak to them in the way that they, they can understand. The meek way, that is the, the way of repentance. The basic things that they need to understand. The first thing that child of God need to understand that will help him from there begin to grow. That is what Apostle Paul said, I have delivered it unto you. I have delivered the milk unto you that you may grow. The purpose of the milk is for you to, to suck the milk and the milk make you grow. Praise the Lord. As you, as you keep on drinking milk, drinking milk, a child, as you, uh, there's a, when you give birth to a child in the hospital, sometimes they will tell you just give him ordinary water. Praise the Lord. From water you begin to drink milk. From milk you begin to drink uh, 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 so many other uh, fruits, veggies. So the the food, the step food that you get, the milk and the water that you used to tender him from the youth, from the baby, or from that zero month when, when he was born, he adds to his growth. Praise Master Jesus. He adds to his growth and he helped him to 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 sustain every other solid food that we come to him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So Paul said. I fed you with milk. The basic through which is repentance and death and, and uh, um, repentance from dead works. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Repentance from dead works. That was the prop the the, the 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 milk that Apostle Paul said he has taught them. There are new way of life, teaching them that you have come to this kingdom. This is what you need to do. You need to repent and do away with your old life and begin to learn of those things that are in this kingdom. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Those things that are in this kingdom. 
He want them to understand the things that are in this kingdom. He said, I have not fed you with solid food, but a milk, but milk, so that you may grow. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. So God wants us to grow as we come to Christ Jesus. How we come in, we need to improve. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 3, the Bible said, For you are still carnal, just like the way we came. We are still carnal, but Apostle Paul said they are still carnal. Why? Because there were so many things that were, were happening in the, in the church of Corinth. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, I fed you with milk so that you may grow. Not the word that you cannot understand. The principal thing, the principal thing that you need to understand of your way of life as you have come in. Those are Gentile people. Those are Gentile. The, the church in Corinth, they are Gentiles. So, their way of life, they come in. Apostle Paul have taught them, this is taught them the way of Christ. But yet, there were still commotion. Why? Because they could not understand, they could not absorb, they could not uh, submit to the preaching of the apostles. Verse 3, the Bible said, It said, For you are still carnal, for where therefore, for where there are heavy strife. Praise the Lord. Verse 3. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 3. He said, we are there, he said, sorry, we are there as heavy strife and division amongst you. You are not carnal and behave like men men. Praise Master Jesus. He told them, say, you behave like men men. You behave as carnal. Praise Master Jesus. The evidence for a man to know that he is not growing is to see his or herself behaving like the worldly men, like the worldly women. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. That is the only thing that you can figure out as a child of God. Something that will make you to know that mm, I am not growing in the Lord. I am not growing in the things of God. I am not supposed to remain where I, I am. At the way I came, I'm not supposed to remain. The evidence, something for you to know something that will direct you that will make you to understand that you are not growing or i am not growing is for us when we begin to do things that are contrary to the word of god when we begin to to walk in heavy praise the lord when we begin to walk in jealousy in strife so those are the words of Cana. when you begin to grow when you grow more than that stage of milk you cannot longer have time for those things, those heavy jealousy and strife, lying, gossiping, backbiting, you can you will no longer have time for those things. Yes, because sir. you have upgraded from meek. Now you are eating spiritual food. You are yes. eating. You are drinking. Uh, eating solid food. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul said, "I have taught you." The way of babies. I have taught you the language of babies. I have taught you how you need to grow, what you need to do, how you need to carry yourself. But now you are not yet be able to understand them. He said, why? Because you are carnal. Because when you are carnal, when you do things according to the word, that is the evidence that that child of God is still carnal. He has not amounts to the spiritual growth. He has not amounts to, to that that uh, uh, um, extent, that level that the Lord has called him to come in. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So Apostle Paul wants them to grow. He wants them to grow. He said, if you are not carnal, why then there is heavy, there is strife, there, there is trouble amongst you? Because why? Ye are carnal, ye are still baby, ye are not, you are not growing. Praise Master Jesus. Apostle Paul wants them to grow because he fed them with milk. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Children of God, our coming to Christ, our call to this kingdom of God, child of God, listen, it is not only for you to be saved, it's not only just for you to be saved, but it's for you to be like God. 
Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. That is why your spiritual growth is very necessary. Because the more you grow in Christ, the more you become like Him. Praise Master Jesus. It is very, very important. The spiritual growth is very necessary in the life of every believer. Because the more you grow, the more you grow in the, in the things of God, the more you become more like Jesus Christ. The more you become like Him. The more you speak like Him. You speak with authority. The more you, you speak with power. The more you, 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 you command things to come to pass. The more you, you grow in Christ, praise the Lord, the more you take solid food, that the more you grow, the, like, the more you become like Jesus Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Spiritual growth is necessary in this kingdom that we are. First Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Second Peter chapter 3, sorry. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Praise Master Jesus. Second Peter three eighteen. The Bible said, "Father, we give you glory and honor." Thank you, Jesus. He said, "But grow in grace, and and knowledge of our Lord Jesus, knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory." both now and forever. He said, but grow in grace. The grace is given to you and I. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has done it on the cross. And we have come into this kingdom. We have accepted. But our work, as Brother uh, Peter said, he said we should grow in grace, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. As we have come to know him, we need to grow in him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord has done it. He has saved us by grace. As Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 said. He said, by grace have we saved, not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. Grace is the gift of, of God. But you must put your effort to grow in that grace. How can you do this? Is to walk in the way of God, to study more about the things of God, to, to dedicate yourself into the things of God. By the time you, are, you acknowledge the word of God and you are going forward, you are not going back, you are not comparing yourself with the things of the world. You focus, you are going forward. Then you begin to grow in your grace. Praise Master Jesus. You begin to grow. The more you, you, you acknowledge God, the more you, you put yourself into the things of God. The more you dedicate yourself into the things of God. You come into the church. You want to be a partaker of everything that they are doing in that church. Not to the pastor. Not to the, to the, uh, uh, to the uh, prayer leader. Not to anybody in that church. But to God Almighty. You want to serve Him. You want to do things. To uh, do things to please God Almighty. As you are doing that, you will be growing in the spirit. Or not to you, you will be growing in the spirit. Your grace will be going higher and higher. That is what Peter tell, uh, is telling us. That's what he's telling us. Grow in grace. Grace is given to us, but you and I need to work hard to grow in it. By like acknowledging the word Jesus. of God. The more you grow in grace. Thank you, Lord. The more you acknowledge God, the more you be like Jesus Christ. Our call is not just because we, we to call for salvation. No. We were called to be like Jesus Christ. We were called to be like him. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We should grow in grace because as you come to Christ, the Lord wants every one of us to grow in grace. Let us not joke with our Christian lives. Let us not joke with our Christian life, children of God. Christianity is not how many people take it to be. Christianity is between you and God. It is power. It, Christianity is the power of God in man. Bread and water. Praise Master Jesus. It's the Hallelujah. power of God manifesting in the life of man. Jesus. That is Christianity. Don't say Christianity as people take Christianity. Let me tell you today, there are Christians all over the world. But there are men and women that know their stand in the Lord. They know their stand in Christ Jesus. 
Join those people that know their stand in Christ Jesus, children of God. Our growth in Christ, our spiritual growth is very, very necessary. I come today to challenge us to be focused, to, to begin to think of our fellowship with God. Praise Master Jesus. To begin to think our fellowship with God because Jesus wants us. Not only on that day you will be saved, I will be saved. No, it is more than that. God wants us before that day on earth we will live like him. We will command like him. We will, we will be able to take authority. That dominion which he has given to us from the beginning. When he said we should multiply, we should subdue the earth. That dominion, he wants us to mani manifest it. He wants us to live in the fullness of that authority even here on earth before he comes. But we can only do this, children of God, if we grow in God, if we grow in Christ. That is why we cannot afford to play with our spiritual lives. That is why we, we, we cannot afford to go the way people are taking spiritual things, the way they are taking Christians, the way they, they, they defy Christianity to be. You don't need to de defy Christian, uh, Christianity to be so. Praise the Lord. Stand your ground and know that Jesus Christ, he has called me to the higher calling. There is a higher calling that the Lord has called us. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not just to come and be saved, repent. No, there are more. There are more Jesus. for you and I to know about this kingdom that we have, which the Bible is Amen. telling us, is telling you and I. Don't define your Christianity the way people are defining Christianity because it will not help us. It will limit our, 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 our glory. It will limit our power. Praise the Lord. It will limit Hallelujah. the power that God himself has given unto us. The work on the cross. The work on the cross. That blood Jesus Christ shed on the cross. If we take it the way the world system is taking Christianity, we will not be able to experience that power. We will not be able to experience that authority that the Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ brought on the cross. That he, re he restored it back to us. He restored that glory back to us on the cross. Yes. He took back that Jesus. authority and gave it to the believers. Thank Praise you, Master Jesus Christ. That is why he said that this, to them that believe, said these signs and wonders shall follow them. Oh, yes. Because he has taken back the authority from the devil. When they fear, the devil has, he, 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 he was exercising authority upon man. But when Jesus Christ came, he died on the cross. The Bible said he went to hell in Colossians chapter 2, verse 15. He took the key of death from, from them, the key of life and death. He took it and bring it to us. He gave it the, the authority into the body of Christ that many that we believe, that was why the apostles, they come out with boldness. They were not afraid, even to unto death, because they know that they carry the power of God. That is in best. Amen. Jesus Christ has not only called us for repentance, he has called us unto perfection of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Let's read the book of Hebrews chapter 6. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 6. Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. It's necessary. Spiritual growth is necessary. We can't afford. God wants us to grow, you and I, to grow our spiritual life, to, to look like him, to be like him, children of God. Hebrews chapter 6. The Bible said from verse 1. He said, living, he said, therefore, living the discussions of elementary principle of Christ, living the principal things, like he said, let us go on to perfection. Let you and I go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of the faith towards God. Did you hear that? One and two. 
He said, let us live elementary things. Let us live the things that are basic, the fundamental things, which are righteousness, which are righteousness and faith in God. When you come to Christ, that is the first thing that is preached to us, that you need to have faith in Christ. You repent and change your way. That which you have come with, you need to begin to change them. You need to turn away from your sins. You need to know that you are a child of God. That is the elementary things. That is the basic things as a child of God as we come to Christ. That is the first thing that we, we hear from preachers or anyone that led us to Christ. He tells us to have faith in God. To have faith in God through Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul said, let us live these elementary things. Why? Because you and I need to go forward. You, you and I need to learn more things. We need to grow because those things are necessary. Those are just a step for you to come in, into Christ. Those repent from your sin, have faith in God. They are based. It is, it is something that will help you. As you have known that, you need to grow and begin to know more, acknowledge more things, acquire more knowledge about this kingdom, about God. Living the fundamental things, the things that are elementary. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a repentance from dead works. Change from your way. We need to move forward. He said, go forward. Verse 2 said, of the doctrine of baptism. Go forward. We need to understand the doctrine of baptism. Laid on the hands of, of the hands of resurrection of the dead and the eternal judgment and the eternal judgment and this we he said this we will do if God permits this we will do if God permits he said for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have become partaker of the Holy Spirit. So let us stop it in verse 3. Praise Master Jesus. So we need to understand, we need to go forward to learn about perfections of the Holy Spirit. We need to grow more, to, to be like Jesus Christ, to know more about baptism. Not every time a child of God a year, two years, you are still struggling with repentance. Mm. You are still struggling with repentance. Someone is still preaching a year, a year, two years. Someone is still telling you not to fornicate. Someone is still telling you not to, not to uh, commit adultery, not to have girlfriend. Answer because those things are things that are natural to the people of the world. A man can have his wife in the house and have girlfriend outside. To him, there is no problem. Praise Master Jesus. But as you come into Christ, you know that this thing and it, it belongs to the world. It is not things that are fit into this kingdom. Praise Master Jesus. So we as children of God we need you. to live the principal thing because the principal Thank thing you, it is repentance to the repentance from our sins, re, doing away with our dead works, with, which is lying. Uh, fornicating, adultery, mm -hmm. killing, we can kill with our mouth, gossiping, and all sorts of things that is not admitted in this kingdom. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. These are the elementary things Thank that you. we have known as we come to Christ. But as we come, we need to grow and begin to live those things. It is not something that a man that has come to Christ for a year, two years, what he can still take to himself is repentance. What he can still, he, what he's able to understand is repentance. He has not grown more than that level to conquer, to, 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 to submit under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, to, to submit under the power of God. Is this struggling with sin? Repentance is still, is, is still what the, the, is the message which that kind of person is still hearing. We need to grow. We need to know the things about baptism, about the judgment of God, about spiritual things, righteousness of God. We need to know about the perfection of the Holy Spirit. Because as you begin to know those things, you become like God. Praise the Lord. 
you become like him, you grow closer to him, you go like him, you want to form like him, because that is our calling, our higher calling, he called us to be like him. Praise be to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you. We need to understand that yes. this of baptism, that this of the Holy Spirit. We don't need to base on that repentance. Just repentance. Repent. Repent. A child of God that is almost a year old in the body of Christ. Someone can still tell you, someone that is telling you, brother, don't you know that smoking is bad? No, we need to grow. It is not someone that will tell you because you have known the elementary things, the basic things. You need to grow and begin to, to block from that fruit of the spirit. Yes. And begin to block yes. from Jesus. your heart to, to grow you, in the things of God because Thank it is you, necessary. Father. Because the more Lord, you, you grow in Christ, the more us, you Jesus, become like Jesus Christ. Things, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Because when you know this, when you know this and you, you, you have made up your mind to say, yes, I want to grow. I want to be like him. I want to grow in Christ. Then you will not be that Christian, that child of God, which Jesus Christ was talking about. In the book of John chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. Verse 7, let us read from verse 6. John, when you become, you have that mind. In Christ, you said I want to grow. That what Jesus Christ was, Jesus Christ know what this thing which we are talking about now, and that was why he used this word in the Bible in John chapter 3. John chapter 3. Father, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. John chapter 3. I read from verse 6. Listen very carefully. The Bible said, mm, Power. He said that with that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is a spirit is spirit verse 7 said do not marvel that i said to you you must be born again don't be surprised i said to you you must be born again don't be surprised verse 8 said the wind, listen to this emphasis. Our emphasis is verse 8. Children of God, it is necessary that we grow in grace. Because if we if we are not growing, the devil is robbing us of the glory of God in our life. The devil is robbing us. Ah, that that power, that height which God has raised up, has lifted up to the devil is robbing us. Listen Jesus. what Jesus Christ said here. He said the wind blows where it is but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes he says so is every do you have it in your, your, in your bible he says so is everyone who is born of the spirit ah, so is everyone who is so born of the spirit by the time you, you have so left that elementary basic thing that's it, that's you it. have left that for uh, that repentance you have overcome those repentance things those uh, uh, sins that easily be uh, before you now you are grow, you, you grow you are heading to the perfection of the Holy Spirit the Bible says when you are growing when you grow to when you are growing that is whom you become you become born with the Spirit you become born of the Spirit praise the Lord Hallelujah. you become born of the Spirit Amen. Now you are no longer flesh. We come in as flesh. Every one of us, we come in as flesh. But as you begin to take part in the things of God, hearing the word of God, having your fellowship with God, when you begin to grow, the Bible says you grow to be born of the Spirit. That is why Jesus Christ said, except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The Bible says as the wind, as the wind is, when it blows, you can only feel it. You can only yet maybe blow the whistle, but you cannot tell where it's going and where it's coming from. He said that is is how children of God, they that are born of the Spirit, those that are born of the Spirit, that is how they are. They are transformed from the carnal to the spirit man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That God will reborn that person. That is the Spirit of God will not be inside that person. You will not be able, listen very carefully, you will not be able to stand 
on this earth, but at the same time, you can walk in the spirit realm. Praise Master Jesus. You can now the Lord has given you his spirit to be able to walk in the spirit realm and your body to be able to walk here on earth. When your spirit man has been able to acknowledge the word of God has grown from that basic thing, those repentance of a thing, you have grown from it. Not, not someone is not telling you that uh, it is time for you to go to church. Uh, you know, you, it is time for you to pray. It is time for you to study the word. Now you have grown for do, from those things. You have the hunger now to study the word. You have the hunger to pray. You have the hunger to do the things of God. The power of God in you, the spirit of God in you will begin to grow. We, we mold you. The Bible says you will not be like a wind. You, you are untouchable. You cannot be caught unaware. The devil cannot stand on your way. Because why? You take authority in the spirit realm and in the physical realm. That is why you were called. That's it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. To represent him with your body, with your flesh here on earth. But by the spirit man inside of you to be able to dominate or walk in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. It is necessary to grow. It is very necessary. Spiritual growth is necessary. This is what Jesus Christ himself. He said, they that are born again, they that are born of the spirit. When you become born again, when you become transformed, when you have overcome those elementary things, repentance, your faith in Christ. Now nobody's going to tell you you need to have faith in God. You are already know, you are aware and you are working with God. Now you are, your faith has gone up. You want to reach out to more things about God. You want to know more things about God. The Bible says you become like a wind. You become like a wind. Praise Master Jesus. That blows and nobody know where it's going and nobody know where it's coming from. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord wants us to grow. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. This Bible study today. If you are, if you want to grow in the in, in, in the Lord, this service is for you. Every Thursday. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 13. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Verse 11. The Bible says, When I was a child, when you were just a child, when you, have, you just come to Jesus Christ, you, you are a child, you are a baby in the Lord. He said, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I taught as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. I put away childish things. When he become a man, when he has matured, as a child of God, he come to, he will come to a time you become matured in the Lord. Those are the, the people in the in the Bible that become matured in the Lord. As they hear the word of God, people like Stephen, people like Salah, people like uh, Tim, uh, uh, Timothy, look. Look that write the book of Luke. He was not a Jew, he was a Gentile. But they had the word of the Lord and they begin to grow. Praise the Lord. They begin mm -hmm. to grow. People like Aquilia and Priscilla, two of them, husband and wife, they grew as they had the word of apostles. They hear the word of Jesus Christ. They begin to walk with them and they grow in the Lord. They begin to walk with God. They walk with the apostles to make sure this message come to you and I. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God wants every one of us to grow so that we experience the fullness of God. So that the devil will not rob us. If we are lukewarm, if we are lukewarm, we have a lot to lose. We cannot manifest as the Lord wants us to manifest. Yes, we so cannot represent him as he wants us to represent him. We will have Thank limitation you, in the things of the spirit, children of God. That is why we we don't need to afford to copy the Christianity of people. We need to follow the scripture. We need to grow. Spiritual growth is necessary to you and I. Let us not be careless about our spiritual life. Let's take it. So serious. It's a serious matter. Praise Master Jesus. If you want to domain, if you don't, if you want to walk with boldness, those other people 
which the Bible was telling us eh, that they have that power, they have the strength, eh, they have the boldness, they have that boldness in Christ, eh, they have that assurance in Christ. Eh. Those are the people that are not afraid. Eh. Why? Because they know the God that they serve. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Eh. They know the God that they serve. Eh. You will have that boldness. Yes. Jesus. When you have come to this realm, which Jesus Christ was talking about, he said, When they, when they that are born again, he said, They are like wind. Because as you come to Christ, you grow and you become like a spirit. People will not even understand the way you are, you, the way that you are, you are serving your God. That is why many people call people holy, holy. There are some people they call holy, holy. There are some people that they give them names. Why? Because they cannot longer operate in the flesh atmosphere. Even they, they are in their spirit man, you see it in their physical being. You, they, you cannot, you'll be able to differentiate that this person is not an ordinary person. Why? Because he has climbed to that territory. Which Jesus Christ was saying that those, those that are born again, they are the ones that walk in the territory of the wind. The wind is a spirit. You become like a spirit. This can only happen when you don't, when you grow in your relationship with God. When you grow in your knowledge with God, knowing God, knowing Him that He is your God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Knowing Him that He is our God, is our Maker. Knowing Him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Those are the people. In Romans chapter 1 verse 15, the Bible said, For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. You have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. He said, But you have received the spirit of adoption. Now you have been adopted by the spirit of God. Now you have come to the knowledge of God. He said, you have been adopted by Christ Jesus, by his spirit. He said, whereby we cry our father. Whereby we cry our father. When we have come to this state, then we have the power to say we have a God. Yes, we have the confidence to say we are children of God. Then no one will defy God for you. No one will defy your Christianity for you. No one will tell you that, look at you, look at what you are doing. Because the men, the children of God, the children of God that walk in this way, which we are saying that walk, that left the basic thing, that have their work fixed with Christ Jesus Christ, that know their works. When they fall, they know that they have fell. When they fall from the grace of God, they knew that yes, we have well, we have fallen out from the grace, and they begin to come back to God. Those men and women that is growing, they want to grow, that have grown. When they fall, they know they just knew that oh God, something has happened, and they begin to trace their step back to Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. But they that have not grown in Christ, they that their their spiritual life is still drinking milk. When they, the things of the world that they are doing, they see it as normal, like the people of the world. Praise the Lord. But when you have obtained unto this stage, you have come unto this height, no one will defy Christ for you. Then the Bible said, Jesus Christ said, you become like a wind, where you carry authority, you carry power, you begin to, you cannot hold wind, you cannot put him and, and put him and stalk him. No, he must find a way out. Praise Master Jesus, because he's a spirit. Amen. It is very necessary for you and I to grow in grace, to grow in our spiritual life, so that you will have authority, you will not be afraid. Then he said, we will cry up our Father, because he has not given us the spirit of fear. Then you will not be afraid of any situation. Then you will not be afraid of any trials. You will not be afraid of whatsoever that comes your way. Mm -mm. Why? Because you are a spirit yourself. When your growth, when you grow in the things of God, you are a spirit. Yes. You are a spirit. As the wind goeth and you cannot figure out where it's going and where it's coming from. 
you become like that. Nobody can pin you down. When they are planning like this, you come out like this. When they are coming like this, you come out like this. Praise Pastor Jesus. Jesus. When they plan like this, you pass the other way. When they come like this, you come thank out you from Father, the other way. You, because why? You are a spirit. There is a spirit of God that is in you. That is inside. That guides you. That helps you. That leads you. But for us to be able to know this, we must understand that we need to grow in the Lord. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 5 to 7. Paul told Timothy, he says, stay up the Z, the, the power of God that is in you. Stay up that grace eh, that is in you. You need to stay it up. Yes, you have you have faith in God. Yes, you have repent from your dead works, from your sins. Now you need to stay up that gift of God in you and begin to manifest the power of God. You need to grow, to manifest becoming like Jesus Christ. That you will be able to stand and say and cry, Abba, Father. And have that confidence to say, yes, this is my God. Praise Master Jesus. And say, yes, this is my God. God wants us to grow in the power of his, of his word. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. He wants us to grow. In Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14, he said, Purge your conscience of dead works and serve the living God. That is the basic things. You purge yourself from dead work and begin to serve him. Not the things of the world. Begin to serve him. Purge yourself of the dead work. Those are elementary things that we need to do as we come in, grow and experience the full power of the glory of God. Every man that comes to God, God has deposited power. The purpose of him is for you, of him coming to us, to call us, is for you to operate like him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 14 to 16, the Bible said that Jesus Christ, as he, was, as he told John, he told him that go, this is the message I am sending you to the churches, to the seven churches in Asia Minor. He said to the Ladesia, he told them, he said, I know their work. They are neither hot nor cold. In essence, they don't grow at all. They are, they are careless with their Christianity. They are careless with their relationship with God. Praise Master Jesus. They are neither hot nor cold. If you look at the statement of Jesus Christ, he said he wants them to choose either they will be hot or they will be cold. Mm -hmm. If not, he will split them out. If not, they will not be part of the kingdom. Spiritual growth is necessary. Not today, down, tomorrow, up. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Spiritual growth is necessary. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11 to 14. We are rounding up here. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Because of time. Hebrews chapter 5. We are rounding up now. Father, we bless you for today. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews 5. Thank you, Lord. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. The miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Hebrews chapter 5, I read from verse 11 to 14. We close. The Bible said, Of whom we have much to say and has to explain, since you have become dull of hearing. For though by the things you ought to be teachers, you ought to be teachers. There are many of us that need to be teachers now. He said, you need someone to teach you again the first things, principal things. Now that we are, this is the Bible speaking. There are people, there are children of God that ought to be teaching now. But yet, they are still, they are still under the, the principal thing. They, they, they cannot understand more than that. Praise the Lord. Principal things of the oracle of God. And you have come to the need of milk, not solid food. You, you, they are still asking for milk. Praise the Lord. Verse 13 said, For everyone who partake only of milk is unskillful, is unskilled in the word of righteousness. 
Anyone that is still looking for a milk after so many years is unskillful, is unskilled in the world of righteousness. For he is a baby. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age. Solid food are for those spiritual things. When he says solid food, he's talking about spiritual things. Spiritual things, knowing more, more than repentance, more than living dead works, more than having faith in God. Now, going forward to obtain spiritual things, to know more things about this God. He said to those who are of full age, that is, that is those who by reason of use have their sense exercised to discern good and bad. Praise Master Jesus. To discern good and bad. Praise Master Jesus. So, the Lord is telling us, the Bible is telling us here that our spiritual life is very important because by the time you grow in the spirit, there are arguments that you cannot argue in the Bible. Even if, the, if you did not say it in the Bible, the spirit of God in you just tell you that this thing is not right. He said there are the people that know how to discern from evil or good. There are, it's not the people that will be asking, is it good for, for me to marry two wife? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Is it good for me to marry two wife as a child of God? Solomon married at, uh, uh, 700 wife and uh, 300 concubine. Uh, David married more than one. If you are filled of the spirit, there are questions you don't ask, even if you did not see it in the scripture. Praise Master Jesus. Because the spirit that wrote it, that wrote the scripture, is living in you. It gives you insight of everything that you need to know. The Bible says, when the spirit shall come, it shall teach us all things. There are things that we still need to know that the Holy Spirit can reveal unto you. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So it is very, very important, brothers and sisters, for us to walk in this, in, in this our race, spiritual race, in this body of Christ, for us to take our spiritual life very serious Amen. so that you and I, we operate in the fullness of God's power. In the fullness Amen. of his blessing. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the Lord bless you. I pray that he keep you and your family. I pray that his word dwell richly in our heart today. I pray that he, the spirit of God begin to water this word into our heart. And bring this word alive in us. Eh? In the name of Jesus. Amen. That the spirit of God should help us. But the power in the name of Jesus. Should Amen. help us to understand eh, our calling. That which where we are called eh, and the area that you want us to operate eh, as children of God. Father, we pray that you help us Thank you, in Jesus. the name of Jesus. Everyone here, Lord Jesus, that care about their spiritual life. Father, Lord, I pray that you help them to grow. Lord, show them great and mighty things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You, Blessed Jesus. be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, children of God. I thank you for joining us on today's service. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget, tomorrow 6.30 is our prayer intercession. There is no message tomorrow. It's just prayer intercession. 40 minutes prayer or 35 minutes as, we, as we may, the time will be. Praise the Lord. So on Sunday, by the grace of God, don't forget to join us on Sunday service. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I love you all. Remain blessed until we see on Sunday, in the name of Jesus. May Amen. the glory of God continue to rest upon you in Jesus' name. Bye for now till we see tomorrow. Praise the Lord. We'll see tomorrow 12 and 6, 30. God bless you. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I love